Hi everyone. Today is Monday, May 1st, 2021, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is absolutely gorgeous here in Indiana, and we um, we're spending a little time indoors, and then hopefully we'll get outside and enjoy the rest of today. So it's also National Scrapbooking Day. I didn't know if you were aware of that or not, um, but I'm looking for those scrapbookers out there. So I have three layouts with the snail mail bundle that I'm going to share with you today. Um, but first, I wanna to talk to you just a little bit. The new annual catalog will be launching on Tuesday. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, um, Local customers, you can just stop by my office and there is a basket up front. Um, you can just walk in, think of it like porch pickup. You're gonna pick up a catalog and then you can just take that with you. Just let me know um, if you're coming so I make sure that I have enough up there. If you're not local, I'm going to post after the video a link in the comments for you to sign up to get a catalog sent to you. So, um, just fill out that form and I will get that out to you right away. I just ask that you're not already working with another demonstrator. I don't want to take business away from someone else. So I do want to get these in as many hands as possible. So let me know if you would like one. Now I can't show you anything on the inside of this yet, but I will tell you it's absolutely amazing. You can even tell by the cards on the front, really cute. And I've shared a lot of sneak peeks on my blog. So if you haven't uh, checked out my blog this week, make sure you go and take a look because there's a lot of new products being shared there. Um, okay, so the other thing I wanna tell you about, of course the scrapbook kits are online and um, they are available for you to order on my blog. So if you go to today's blog post, um, the kits that I'm showing you today are on there and available. My quantities are really limited on those. And the other thing is I've been asked to do a paper share again for all the new papers that are in the annual catalog. Um, I'm going to do these in six by six size and I've already calculated that out. You will get over 200, I think it's 204 exactly, pages of six by six pattern paper for $56. If you're local and you wanna pick those up, there's no additional shipping charges. If you are not local, I'm just charging flat rate priority shipping, which is $7.40. So if you want one of those paper shares, I'm again, I'm gonna have very limited quantities of those, and I'll be ordering those first thing on Tuesday morning to make sure that you get them. Um, let me know, you can either message me or I'll, I will be sending out a link in an email on Monday. So if you want a paper share, be sure to let me know right away because I will need those orders in by Monday night. Okay, so let's get started with sharing our projects for today. So I'm doing this video a little bit differently than my past videos. I'm doing a different uh, program and a different camera. So you're gonna have to let me know if you like this or not. If you don't care for this format, again, I'm still experimenting with some different ways to do that. So let me switch my camera view. Okay, hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna go ahead and focus that. There we go. Okay, so this is the Snail Dip Bundle, and this one has been available since January, but um, it is still available through June, and it is so cute. I've shared a lot of really cute cards with this, and today I'm going to show you some fun little um, layouts with it. So I'm gonna pull this up. If, um, if you're on today, go ahead and let me know that you're watching live, and if you're not watching live and enjoying the beautiful weather, just let me know if you're watching the replay. So I have three layouts using these. And let me just bring those in one at a time. So here is the first one. And the paper in this is absolutely just adorable. I cut some of these little snail images direct from the papers. So when you order a kit with this, I'm going to include all of your papers that you need and if you, um, you'll get a half package of the Snail Mail Designer Series paper. 
you'll get all of the cardstock you need for your photo mats, for cutting all of these pieces, and I'll have a PDF with all of those measurements as well. Um, but if you need the dies or the stamps, you'll want to add those on. So all of these little hearts right here, I just used all of those little bitty um, scraps that you get from whenever you're scrapbooking, and I just die cut a bunch of those with the little hearts there. And then the snails I hand cut also. For the circles, I don't have any dies that were big enough for these circles, so I just grabbed some bowls that I have in my cabinet and I trace those out and use those to hand cut my circles there. So normally when I do photos on my scrapbook pages, I'm doing four by six photos and I've allowed you enough paper for photo mats that are four inches, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. All right, so the next one I'm going to bring in here, this one again features some circles. And on this, I use the stitch shape dies, which have retired, sadly. Um, but you could use the layering circle dies if you wanted to. Or again, you could uh, trace the bottom of a class. That works really well. But you're just going to want to cut nine different circles there. These little um, flags here, these are from, were cut with this little die right here but I'll have the measurements in your PDF if you want to cut those with your paper trimmer or by hand. I'll also be including some of the baker's twine with that so you can create this little flag here. And if I'm not doing a four by six photo, a lot of times I'm cutting those down to four by four. So this little photo mat is for that as well. And then on our final layout here, I've used for embellishment, I've created a lot of these little envelopes with the paper. And so you can even pull out these little papers and write little notes on them if you like. It's a great way to hide some of your journaling as well. So let me give you a look down here at the bottom also. Let's see if I can get those on there. I don't know, there we go. So you can see I've cut out some more snails, some little presents. Um, over here, we've done some more of those. So you're definitely gonna want the dies if you wanna make those little envelope embellishments. Those are right here. So really quick and easy to make. And you know, lots of little elements that you can use on your pages with those dies. And the little Happy Mail Enclosed, that was this little stamp here. But you could also stamp more snails and even the little mushrooms. So as far as what type of layouts these could be. These are great for any type of whimsical um, pages that you would like to do. And I've also shared quite a few cards. So if you do get a kit, the kits are $35 and that includes your shipping and your packaging. If you'd like to add on the stamps and the die so that you can complete those pages as shown, um, these that's an additional $44. And I will be shipping those out beginning on May 10th. So um, again, I have very limited quantities of these. So if this is something that you want, make sure you get it ordered right away. And that just went on my blog today. So I will post the link for that in the comments section if you want those. So again, you can request a, a catalog today. You can do the uh, paper share or you can order the snail mail scrapbook kit. So no matter what you do today, I hope you have a great one. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is where all my videos end up being posted. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.